Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Ticking Together. As always, the goal of this channel is to provide education about and to raise awareness as to what it's like living with Tourette syndrome. If you guys were on my last live stream or if you follow my channel at all, you guys would know I have a new boyfriend. <laughs> It's exciting. I'm excited. His name is Colton and he is actually here today. I got rice. <laughs> um, <laughs> and I'm going to introduce him to you guys and bring him on the channel. And I'm going to ask him a few questions about what it's like dating someone with Tourette's. Because in my, in my experience, I don't think he's dated someone with Tourette's before, but we'll ask him. We'll see what he says. We'll get his, his little bit of tea, his knowledge. And I'm going to bring him on and you guys will finally get to meet him. He is such a great guy. We've been dating for about three months now, but I'm sure that I want to introduce him to you guys because you guys are such a mm, big part of my life. And he's obviously a big part of my life too. And I want you guys to meet officially. So without further ado, here is Colton. Hi everyone. This is Colton, my boyfriend. Um, I'm very excited for you guys to meet him. Do you want to introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Colton. I'm this wonderful lady's boyfriend. So best three months of my life so far and hopefully many more. <laughs> yeah. So this is my first time uh, doing this. So <laughs> I like going to be probably a little awkward at first to just to be honest, as you can probably tell, she does this all the time. So she's smooth. Me, eh, not, so, not so much. This is his first. Is this your first time on YouTube? Yeah, ever. You guys, this is your initial first ever time seeing Colton on YouTube on my Tick Any Other channel. So, round of applause. Thank you. <laughs> so, as I said in the intro, I'm going to ask Colton some questions about dating with Tourette's because I have Tourette's. He is dating me, therefore dating with Tourette's. <laughs> so, let's start, I guess. Mm. Sure. So, I guess I want to start with asking you, like, what is your experience with Tourette's in general? Like, what was your first introduction to Tourette's? What do you know about Tourette's? Like, was I your first introduction to Tourette's or was there something else? Um, no. Uh, so you're only the second person I've ever met in my entire life that has had Tourette's. Mm. Uh, so the first uh, time I was ever introduced to Tourette's was back in elementary and junior high. Uh, I was actually pretty good friends with him for that time. Uh, so he and when we when I first got to know him and everything he just seemed like a normal person and everything like that and then he started having ticks but at the time I didn't realize they were actually ticks and stuff oh. I just thought it was like twitches and stuff like that oh yeah so I didn't know if it was something like that or I've like seen like some neurological things like some people have like involuntary body movements and stuff like that mm -hmm. my in, in my family there's some background of that mm -hmm. so I became kind of used to it with him and stuff like that mm -hmm. so and then I saw the consistent swearing and stuff that in the middle of a sentence he would uh say some of his uh, main tics oh, okay. which his main tics uh that obviously now knowing is his main tics were swears so in the middle uh -huh. of a sentence uh he, he would be like hey Colton how's bleep yeah and do you say that so yeah. that was my first take of did he tics. have like motor tics too like the physical tics or was it mainly just vocal uh like 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 when i mean by motorized like my tics when i like jerk or something like did he have any yeah, of that? some of those but it was like very minor oh, okay and stuff. so it was you, you noticed the vocal more yes yeah. just because like yeah. as a kid at like seven or eight years old and stuff yeah. like that you're not really paying attention to that mm. kind of thing because you're kind of uh, like I was in his room playing N64 and yeah, GameCube yeah, kind yeah, of things. Yeah. And then <laughs> so, he's just swearing. Yeah. yeah. Do you know like the, the term for swearing with Tourette's? No, I do not. Education time. Yes. So the term for Tourette's swearing in that disorder kind of realm is called coprolalia. Coprolalia? Yes. Yeah, so it's C-O-P-R-O-L-A-L-I-A. Coprolalia. I'll put it on the screen. Basically, it's the involuntary repetition of socially unacceptable things. So okay. it could be swears, it could be sexually explicit content, it could be slurs, it could be anything that's unacceptable socially. Okay. And it's part of Tourette's that actually only 10 to 15% of people deal with in Tourette's. Oh. So it's actually really rare, um, which is why the stigma of Tourette's in the media being the swearing disorder is, is so far-fetched because like I said, 10 to 15%, it's very oh, small. Not that many. So it's interesting oh. that your friend actually experienced that because it is a very rare phenomenon. So interesting. But the more you know. And the exactly. funny thing is, coprolalia, the prefix copros in I think Greek or Latin, means 
and the li the Lilia means talk. So it literally means <laughs> talk. The more you know. Yeah, trust me, I didn't know this. I'm not. Even dating with her for over three months and stuff, I'm still learning a lot of things. And yeah. It, it has helped me to understand her better. Yeah. And everything, which I'm very happy that she's patient with helping me learn to be more aware. Yeah, I definitely try and educate him. Like, if I'm ticking and I'm like, oh, sorry. And then there was one day, the other day, we were cuddling and he's like, what did you, you said something like, um, oh, you're being very still. Or you, you acknowledged that I wasn't ticking. And then it started ticking more and I was like, okay, Colton, we need to have a chat. This is what you don't do. Like, <laughs> what you don't it, it was say. so funny. I was like, okay, listen up. I appreciate the the idea <laughs> behind this, but when I'm not ticking, please don't say anything because if you mention it, I'm going to start ticking. So I do educate him as much as I can. It's pretty funny, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the more you know. So that's very interesting. So I'm your second person with Tourette's. Yes. Very cool. What would you say your experience is like dating someone with Tourette's in the aspect of like, do you notice my tics? Do my tics impact you at all? Do they bother you at all? Like, what would you say is the general, the general, feeling yeah, the general feeling behind is, it. So during our first date and we went to a, a pizza restaurant and like uh, having a great time and stuff. And of course being our first date, a little awkward and stuff and trying to get to know each other, yeah. like the small talk, like, so how about this weather we're enjoying? Yeah, it was kind of funny. <laughs> So, and then the one thing that kind of made me notice is her consistent blinking. Yeah. So then I asked her like, is everything okay? Cause I thought like she might've just had like something in her eye or something mm -hmm. like that. Like, you know, when you get the eyelash in your eye and it's just yeah. really bothering you. Yeah. That's what I thought it was. And that's kind of what it looks like, which is I'm always just repeatedly like blink, 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 blink. It's a lot of blinking. And so you noticed and you asked. Yeah, I was like, is everything okay? and stuff like with your eyes mm -hmm. and then that's when you opened up to me yeah about... so i i did tell him about Tourette's on the first date which is something i normally don't do um which is uh, he took it so well i mean you can continue talking yeah. but yeah no i was just like oh okay and like for me Tourette's mm -hmm. uh, like in my life i've dealt with other disorders and uh people with other neurological or physiological Mm -hmm. uh, ailments. Mm -hmm. So when she told me she has Tourette's and stuff, it was mm -hmm. just like, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And like it, like I, I fell for her and stuff that first day, and I really enjoyed my time with her and everything. So and that to me, it's not a roadblock or anything for my feelings for her and everything like that. And like even though she has, she does take now and then and everything. To me, it's just, it's. It's just how she is. So they don't it's... ever bother you, really? Like, when we're cuddling, even, they don't really bother you? No, it's just... Just how I am? Yeah, it's... Unfortunately, something you can't control. So yeah. it's... It is what it is at the end of the day. If it's something you can control and stuff, then, yeah, try to do something about it. If it's something you can't control, it's... It is what it is at the end of the day and stuff. You're so kind. And... See, this is how a partner should be. Like, if you guys out there have Tourette's and you're dating someone, this is the epitome of what they should be. They should not be judging you. Take it with, take it in stride, you know? Just like, be like, okay, that's how they are. They can't control it. Whatever, you know? Like. Yeah, because I de deeply care for her and stuff. And she's by far the best girlfriend I've ever had. Because she actually really does care about me. And she's always a massive positive energy in my life. Thank you. Like, even at the end of every day and stuff, even after like a long, hard day at work and stuff. My first thought is on the drive home is to call her because I always know I'm always gonna. It, it it's just her voice whenever like whenever she's on the phone, and then I then she's like hello, and then I say hi, and then she's like hi. It's like that like that. <laughs> you guys know happy like energy. literally how I am on my channel is literally how I am in real life. Like I'm I'm a pretty bubbly person, pretty cheery, and so I think that's what he's talking about. Yeah, no, yeah. even even when I have a really bad day and stuff, I I just want to talk to her and text her, and I just her pause pos positivity yeah. definitely fully rubs off on me and makes just makes me a happy day thank you like today i was having a bit of a bad day and stuff from work because mm -hmm. just coming off of a long night shift yeah and everything and then just seeing her and everything and yeah. as you can tell i'm pretty happy right now yeah we're we're very happy and the good thing is it's not long distance Yay! <laughs> I can actually touch him and see him and it's the best. So, and he cares about me and doesn't judge my Tourette's, which is how it should be. If you have Tourette's, if you have a tick disorder, find a partner who genuinely supports you and doesn't judge you because Colton is the epitome of that and it's great. So yeah. Tourette's hasn't really affected our relationship and everything like that. No, another thing too though is like, I've kind of like in the realm of educating you more. Like tonight we had a conversation about 
uh, sensory issues that you didn't know about. Yeah. So it's interesting because like with Tourette's, as you guys know on my channel, I try to educate about mm, uh, about all parts of Tourette's. And I mean, tonight I was talking to Colton about um, my, my sensory issues with food and clothing material and lighting. Like it's something that neurodivergent people deal with, obviously, if you know, but like Colton didn't know that was a thing. And so it's, it's really cool dating someone who like doesn't have a lot of information on Tourette's besides just like his general knowledge because I'm able to be like, okay, this is what I know, this is what I experience, and then he can learn from me. And as you guys know, I love educating, so it's like I have my personal little student here <laughs> who's also my boyfriend. <laughs> um, but I was telling him too, like the other day we were talking in the car about like rage attacks, and you didn't know that was a thing. No. With Tourette's rage attacks are a thing, and so like no. it's really cool that I can just tell him these things and he takes it in stride, like I said. Like he's like, okay, that's that's part of you and that's okay and that's so important and you guys have to find it too because i'm so happy that i found colton no, too. yeah i think those are all the questions i'm going to ask colton today this was just a brief intro to meeting him for you guys i hope you love him because i do he's awesome if you want to be kind leave a comment down below saying hi to colton in the comments if you have any video ideas for us in the future if you want to ask him more about dating with Tourette's or anything like that leave those questions in the comments too but before we go we're gonna do something exciting mm, what are we doing okay you know what we're doing but i'm gonna <laughs> <laughs> um, so tonight colton and i were at the mall and i took him the other night on a wild goose chase to find <laughs> mystery boxes because if you guys watch my tiktok if you're not following me go follow me at taking together if you're not following my TikTok, I talked about this, but mm, I took, hi, <laughs> I took Colton on a wild goose chase to find mystery boxes, not only any mystery boxes, Pokemon mystery boxes. And tonight we have two more here because I'm addicted and I can't get enough. <laughs> so we're going to open one of these here on this video and the next one over on my TikTok. So if you want to see both of these being unboxed be sure to subscribe here at taking together on youtube join the family i'm so close to 100k oh my gosh thank you for subscribing by the way um Definitely and then you. thank you and then if not go follow me on tiktok at taking together because i have some followers there and i post different content there too so go follow but which one should we open on this video i like the terrarium one terrarium more. okay we're gonna open the terrarium one here and then we're gonna open this pokemon garden on tiktok so go follow right now Actually, no, watch this video first, then go follow. Okay, let's do it. Okay, we're gonna open this Pokemon Terrarium Collection 12. 12 is my favorite number. Did you know that? No. It's my soccer not. number. All right. The more you know. These are the ones you can get. You can get these ones, or you can get these ones. I already have this one. So oh, let's yes. say a prayer that I don't have it again. Which other ones are there? Uh, oh, the Marshall one. I want this one so bad. I want him so bad. I, I, I want this one or this one. Or this it's one. An Ivy. Oh. oh, the chim charm. <laughs> Timothy, if you're watching, I love you. Okay. Let's do it. <laughs> the joy this brings me, I swear. I think this is my first one I've ever opened, so this is gonna be interesting. I usually need scissors. Let's rip it. You have a boyfriend that <clears throat> those noises are lovely. Okay, you ready? Yes, let's just see which we see which one you get. Okay, let's look at it together. Three Two, one. Please, please, please. Oops. <laughs> Daisy, look what I got. Daisy, say hi. Daisy. Daisy, look. Say hi. It's the marshmallow one. It's the one I wanted. Yay. Daisy, are you so excited? Daisy, are you are so you excited? Oh, my Daisy. She loves opening things. <laughs> Daisy. Oh, yeah. She's just really interested. Oh, my lovey. Oh, of course. I love you. These are my, my favorite people. My Daisy and my Colton. Mm. 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 This is good to eat. Oh, yes. You want to see what this is? We got my favorite one. Oh, <laughs> baby. You want to see? It's not for, it's not for you. It's not for you. <laughs> Oh, I love you so much, baby. <laughs> like she got a haircut. Doesn't she look stylish? Oof. Oh, you want to look in the box? Oh, you want okay. To down? Okay. Okay, we're going to open it. I am so excited about this I'm one. I'm surprised that they had that one. I can't believe it. This is the one I really wanted. Daisy. Daisy is just her 
Okay. Here, you take yeah. the... Top. <gasps> so okay, that is cute. Really cool. I'll show the camera. Look at this guy. Little Marshall. And the little... Easy neck. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay, so this is this is the bottom, I think. Yes, that, yeah, that oh, wait. is the bottom. No, this is the bottom. This has the flat bottom. Okay, hold this. Oh, this way. How does he go in? Oh, uh, let me see. Hang on, I want to see the picture. Because it looks like he... Uh, his fins and stuff go behind, so you kind of have to like... Oh, oh, just like, oh, <laughs> look how cute! Yay! And, and put the it. lid on. This is my favorite one by far. <laughs> I am so excited. That one is so cool. He's so cute! Okay, if you guys want to go see us open this Pokemon mystery box, head over... Mm, I got rice. Mm, sorry. Head over to my TikTok and Daisy's going to be here at Ticking Together. We're going to open that one. So head over there. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, we're learning together. We're laughing together and we're ticking together. Again, thank you, Colton, for being here. Love you. Bye. Bye. <laughs>